Got another match day experience coming at you from the motherland, Prague, Czech Republic, where we have Sparta Prague versus Aris Limassol. It is a Europa League match, first Europa League match of the season. Here you go. Cheapest way to get the tickets is straight from the club. We couldn't get any seats together, and these tickets were about double the price of a normal Sparta Prague game. The city of Prague hosts five professional clubs, three of which are in the top flight this season, but all five have spent time in the Czech First Division. We stayed in Wenceslas Square, which is very close to the train station and walkable to all of the main attractions. Prague is very well preserved because it remained unbombed during World War II. Our first stop on the day was the Strahov Monastery, which was built almost 650 years before the United States was founded. A couple years after the founding of the monastery, they started brewing beer. Although I love Czech Pilsner, it was nice to have something different, grab some lunch, and then go check out their lookout point. Next stop after lunch was to go check out Prague Castle. You can take public transit to get there or the old-fashioned Heel Toe Express. It is free to get into and is actually the largest castle in Europe by land area. Hopefully you brought your step counter as we leave the castle, go through Letna Park to Letna Stadium, which is the home of Sparta Prague, and the venue that will play host to tonight's match. I wanted to go check out the fan shop before the match because I didn't know if one, it would be open, and two, if it'd be really busy. The jerseys were not as cheap as I was hoping they'd be, and in hindsight, I should have got one of these scarves. I'm a big robe guy, but sadly did not have room in my bag. Took the metro back home to get ready for the match. After dinner, we start our trek to the stadium. On our way to the stadium, we stopped at a seasonal bar called Stalin. It's a local hipster spot named after a statue of the former Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin, which stood nearby and was destroyed in 1963. Another place of note is the Letna Beer Garden, a 10-minute walk away from Stalin. This is a great place during the daytime for a view of the city. To save time, we cut across the parking lot, and from start to finish, it was about a 30-minute walk. At the stadium, some people were selling unofficial gear, and I got a scarf. This is actually not my first time in this stadium. My first professional match I ever went to was here. Czech Republic versus Italy in a World Cup qualifier in 2013. I grabbed a beer and ready for kickoff. Aris Limassol gets a penalty very early on to kick it off 1-0, but the Czechs come right back. Then, right before halftime, the Czechs take the lead 2-1. to one. The line for the bathroom was quite long at halftime, and then when I went to the concession stand, most everything on the menu was around 2 to $3. Then, in the 67th minute, the Czechs seemed to have put the game away 3-2. A very late consolation in the 90th minute for Aris Limassol, but it doesn't matter much as Sparta takes a 3-2 to kick off the Europa League group stage. Stay tuned as we head down the road to the birthplace of Pilsen Beer for another match day experience.